My name is Carl Sheffield. I'm the Linear Speed Specialist at Michael Johnson Performance Center. Today we're going to be using the Power Vibe Zen Pro 5900 to talk about correction or improving acceleration mechanics using the Vibe Plate. We have Nate here as our subject. We're going to use our basic wall drill series to demonstrate acceleration postures and mechanics that we try to teach in, in our training. The postures that we tend to look for are a nice long straight lines from the shoulder through your hip, through your knee, through the ankle. Go ahead and extend. Long lines here. Some of the postures that we find that tend to be faulty is there's a lack of extension through the glute side so the knee might drop down and buckle, not allowing me to keep my nice long straight line. Other postures are where my foot falls out in front of me allowing that line to dip here. And there may be issues in my core where my hips fall straight down and then I try to extend, allowing my foot to drag the ground. Okay. So we use the Vibe Pro to simulate extension on backside mechanics by using our warrior stretch. Nate's going to get in a split stance with his knee down on the Vibe Plate. The Rib cage is along the hips. There's an extension through the backside to try to lengthen and extend by working on glute activation. Hopefully, by getting extension and glute activation on the backside, I'll be able to maintain the postures on the back end of the acceleration mechanics. If there tends to be a stability issue, we then use our banded hip extension while standing on the vibe. And we'll also initiate a hip flexion on the front side. Still working on extension through the hip with a long straight line as I do a hip flexion okay, with resistance from behind. Really trying to drive down through the plate, get extension through the glute, through the knee, and through the ankle using our resisted hip extension. And that is working on hip extension for acceleration postures and mechanics.